No, there is no way this is real. So this is a martial arts instructor, and I guess he's showing his student some sparring moves? No, this is like a, a comedy bit from like an internet sketch something. That's not real. There's no way this John Kreese here is teaching his students the so long gay Bowser move. So long gay Bowser. But if it is real, look, I'm happy with my career choices, but I kind of want his job. It looks fun. American politicians are just an embarrassment. We don't have to proceed on this one. I there's some hard feelings with Penn. Representative Dye. Bradford, yes. just, I'm a heterosexual. I have a wife. I love my wife. I don't like men as you might, but don't stop touching me all the time. <laughs> so I keep your hands to yourself. Like if you want to touch somebody, you have people on your side of the aisle that might like it. I don't. Okay. Chairman, chairman. <laughs> Chair. Yeah, I don't like being touched by strangers either. It's it's a thing. But I don't just like flip out and start calling everyone gay. I'm not gay. You're gay. Your whole family's gay. I had sex with my wife once. Be that's how not gay I am. Fucking grow up and be a professional, man. Trust me, I roast people for a living, and calling someone gay is not an insult. It's like some Facebook boomer shit. It's embarrassing. This woman's face says it all. And before you say anything, no, I don't care which political party they're in. American political parties are a, a Harry Potter sorting hat for used car salesmen. Democrat. People pay actual money for this. So this is a restaurant called El Cielo, where one of their specialties is they serve you a chocolate dessert on your hands that you're supposed to lick off. And she said, how did we get here? And did you say what you want to say? I wouldn't be a... What kind of bored rich people bullshit is this? Yeah, I'm sure this chocolate tastes great mixed with my hand sanitizer. Welcome to this fine dining experience. Here's a Kit Kat we left in the car. Imagine every doorknob in that place. And what if you get a phone call? What if you get a phone call? Seriously, somebody pours chocolate on my hands, I'm gonna... Yeah! So this is probably gonna make you mad. So this dude here gets pulled over for going 37 in a 25. But what the cop doesn't know is that he is the sheriff. Can I get your driver's license real quick, Mr. Bronton? You really want my driver's license? I just want to look at it. Huh? I said, I just I'm want... the sheriff. I'm All not right. giving you my license. I'm the sheriff. Okay. Okay, I'm not giving you my driver's license. All righty. All right? I appreciate you. You realize I'm the sheriff of this county? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm the sheriff of this county. All right? Okay. You pulled me over, you made your contact. You okay. gonna write me a ticket? I mean, I wasn't going to. I was just going to make sure you had your driver's ticket. license on there. I got my driver's license. I was just wanting. To let, I was just asking to look at it. This is some abuse of power bullshit. I swear, I could take a SpaceX shuttle to the moon, and somehow a cop would find me and write me a ticket for something. You know exactly what would happen if this was you, and you refused to show your license, jumped out of a car, and approached a cop in anger like that. <laughs> But hey, don't worry. This video is a few months old, and the sheriff has since learned his lesson when he received no punishment. So people are going crazy over this one. So we got the Queen's Guard here, and they're doing the royal whatever the hell, and they march over a little boy. Yeah, this one's everywhere. Someone even edited that ludicrous song into it. Oh, bitch. And that someone was me. But listen, as crazy as this video is, this isn't even the worst thing the royal family's done to a kid. Now, I understand these guys are following some sort of ancient royal protocol where they aren't allowed to stop patrol for anyone. And I'm sure there are warning signs everywhere. But I kind of don't care. Because I hate royalty. I hate royalty and their stupid rules. I hate the concept of royalty. I, I won't even eat a Burger King because that's how much I hate royalty. I won't listen to Prince. I won't listen to Queen. I, I won't even watch Babar. Fuck Babar. That's how much I hate the concept of royalty. There's no reason for this stupid stupid ass no stopping protocol other than dumb royal pageantry you know the secret service could have protected the tower of london without trampling a little kid just saying you aren't ready for this one so this is an actual chinese commercial for laundry detergent it's a little old but it's definitely real Did she just wash the black off him? You can't just use laundry detergent to change races. You're not, you're not a GTA barber. Well, she's gonna be really disappointed when she learns that cold water causes shrinkage. So I went to a Call of Duty tournament. <laughs> You know when you can just, like, smell a video? This one's giving me hints of old Funyuns and Meat Lovers pizza farts. And what's with all the clapping? Is this how gamers resolve their disputes? <laughs> By playing rock, paper, scissors? I mean, this guy's so mad he's gonna go home and break up with his body pillow. I'm just playing.
<laughs> this, but this video does give me the same energy as. Sup, bro? What, bro? Sup, bro? Take a swing, bro. I'm right here, bro. I am very uncomfortable with what's happening here. What the? Ma'am, am I interrupting your date? Did y'all meet on Farmers Only? I mean, would y'all ever let a horse do this to you? Why does this feel like a live action reboot of BoJack? 